Hello there. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, hello everybody, I have something very special for you here uh, today. It is a box of CDs. And um, I, I believe that the modern uh, terminology is to say that my new album dropped. I haven't dropped anything to the floor. It, 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 we used to call it, uh, I've released a new album or, or is the debut a new album, now it's dropped. And we, don't, we wouldn't want to be old fashioned, right? So we're dropping the CD. This is a, a selection of my music. Uh, from 2008 to 2017 and it does contain five brand new tracks and I put it here you know I, sh I should put, I should have put one of those stickers like as seen on TV but put it as a seen on YouTube so I wanted to 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 play it for you here I want to use my Jensen stereo which I hardly ever use but in this case it seems uh, appropriate and uh, by the way while, while that loads uh, I'm selling it for ten dollars and the, t the the money, of course, is gonna go to improving the channel and uh, and to, and to making all the um, all the future trips. Oh, there you go, it's playing. Yeah, that that's the main reason why I don't use these speakers much because they are atrocious. Of course, I'm gonna play the music digitally into the. I'm gonna edit it in, into the into the uh, into the video. But of course, this is my song "Riding in My RV," the new version. Riding. The one that you saw the music video a couple of years ago, and if you haven't, I'm gonna put a link somewhere up here to that video. I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding. Of course, as I said, this has all, all new, a lot of new music, and then I, what I did, I put the a selection of of my other music you know it's some of them uh, uh, suggested by you guys and some of the other stuff that i like the most of course i had to drop a couple of tracks like like the the, the dalton highway and um uh, i don't know the the san francisco suite for example but those you can still get digitally and i'm gonna make my the, these five new tracks uh, available digitally as well only just in cd baby and it's not gonna be on Amazon, on Amazon or Apple or anything like that because it it, it, it would cost me too much money and really it, it wouldn't justify the cost at this point. When I'm able to release a whole new album with a, a brand new music, I will put it on iTunes and everywhere else. Yeah, this of course has the, the live trumpets played by my friend uh, Chuchi, Jesus Jorge, is, is it? they're coming up. Yeah, it sounds a little different than the than the first one, and uh, that's the new version. That's the first track. Okay, I'm gonna go through the 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 the, or read the, the brand new tracks uh, first, and then we'll go into the into the rest. You know, just a little bit. The second track is Ocean Breeze, of course, and this is one of the 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 favorites uh, of many of you, and it's one of my favorites too, mainly because. Um, he has the the live trumpets and trombone. Uh, no, he played the trumpet and the flugelhorn. Uh, my friend Chuchi, and it's very relaxing, uh, smooth jazz track that I like a lot. This this, this one I just composed on one day. You know, it was, uh, it was I, I didn't have anything with this type of rhythm, so I wanted to do something maybe you know like f for relaxing shots, beauty shots of places. You know. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna go, uh, get to the part where, where Chuchi sings. Let's continue. This is track number three. This is, of course, called Total Eclipse of the Sun. And you, you don't have to guess what inspired uh, this song. It was that, that, that life uh, changing experience of watching the, the moon totally eclipse the sun. It's one of my favorites too, and I and I in the future it's kind of a short song. It's like song or tune or whatever you call it. It's like, it's like two and a half minutes, but eventually I intend to make a longer version of it. The next one. This is like a flamenco rumba mixed with a little bit of salsa, and this song is called Miami Beach. Miami Beach theme. 
And I did that video about a year ago and this song was uh, actually composed about a year ago. I wanted to get Chuchu to redo the brass uh, with the live uh, instruments, but I never got him to do it. It sounds like it sounds good like that. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, those are the, the, the first uh, four tunes that are original. The next one you've heard, of course. That's a music city that I uh, that I wrote, inspired by Nashville, Tennessee. Somebody asked if I played the banjo, but that, that's, a, that's a keyboard, the banjo. Okay, California Road Trip, and this is one of the oldest ones. This I, I of course, uh, composed, inspired by California. When we did the, the, and that's like by far my most uh, popular video with the most views. I think next year it's gonna reach one million views, and that's the California Road Trip. I don't play the electric guitar, but for, no, not here, but for some of the, of the riffs, I, I borrowed my, my stepson's electric guitar and I, uh, I'm not very good at it. Okay, the next one is uh, another one of my favorites. Of course, this is called Bonjour Paris. You know, Bonjour Paris. And it's, uh, I wrote it, of course, inspired by Paris and inspired by uh, French music. And you can hear some hints of that because uh, at some point I do, I do the accordion and yeah. And as, as you listen to this uh, tune, I can only imagine myself, you know, sailing on the Baton Rouge on the Seine River, you know, overlooking the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Anyways, we continue. London Pride, and that's from that same trip that I did London and Paris, uh, a tale of two cities. And this, and I, and I, use, I use this, this tune a lot for like uh, driving uh, videos and stuff like that because I just like it. It, it. Originally it was eventually going to be something inspired by something by the Beatles, like something like Sgt. Peppers, but it evolved into something else. It's still, it's still inspired in, in British rock in a way. From like the 60s, <laughs> 70s. The next one, and this one begins very, very dim. Oh no, this I skipped one, sorry. This is Crossing the Rockies, of course. And this was for, for our Four Corners uh, road trip, the trip to the Wild West, another one of my most uh, uh, viewed videos. And this is a song that evolves. This part is Crossing, crossing the Rockies, and then the, the second part of the song is as, as we cross the Rockies and, and hit the, the sandstone uh, rock formations of Utah. So that, that the second part of this song is really about Utah. But this is this is the Rockies. I'm, I'm, I'm on I-70 going up and down, uh, seeing the, the, the snow-capped uh, mountains and um, yeah. Okay, yeah, Desert Song. And there's, there's a song, there's little Desert Song part one and two. And I included both. This one, it starts uh, very slowly. Let me put the second one. They're similar in, in many ways, but this one, this is right here. That's the sunrise. No, that, that, that's not the sunrise, I, I digress. This is the first time I see the, the Grand Canyon as I arrive at, uh, at the Blue Angel uh, Lodge on the South Rim. And then the song pauses here at, at some point. And after that, it is the sunrise. Here, you see, it stops. Now, it's the sunrise. And I, and I try to do like a Navajo flute. Okay, the next one is one of the most complimented tunes. That's Foothills, of course. And uh, I composed it uh, mainly for the video, the Denver video. I wanted to do something like that, somewhat smooth jazz, you know. And. Um, I think it came out pretty good. It's, it's one of uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of people have complimented uh, me on this, on this tune, and I think it works out well. It was another one of those melodies that just came to my head as I was, you know, writing the song. I think as I was, as I was making the, I first, you know, make the rhythm and the, and I make the bass line usually, and then I just come up with a, with a melody. Sometimes. 
it, the melody is in my head from from weeks and weeks before like writing my RV. It depends. All songs, all, all tunes are different. This is of course. And uh, I wanted that, of course, this is Key West, Kyle Wesso. And uh, the main idea of this song was to make it a reggae tune. Because that, that's, what, you know, the, the keys are, a, a, a lot of the experience in the Florida Keys is really a, the party scene. And for all my life, I've been going down to the Keys, you know, to party. Uh, and now I'm, that I'm getting a little older and wiser is that I'm doing different things like going to the dry tortugas and and other stuff like that but yeah uh, a lot of you uh, a lot of you like this song too uh, uh, okay now we're going to the from reggae which is a caribbean caribbean uh, section it's a caribbean music it's a reggae now we go to the to the latin uh, what's going on with my fantastic band it's windy outside and it might rain any minutes okay this is the latin section of course and we begin with the havana theme and this I composed it, I mean, it's inspired by a lot of traditional Cuban music. It's a cha-cha-cha, uh, rhythm-wise. That's the, the classic cha-cha-cha piano riff, that's 50s music. And this was, uh, I, I made it specifically for that throwback video that I did. Uh, and I combined two trips that I made to, to Havana, my, the last two times I was in Havana. And that was in 2001 right after 9-11 and then on 2000 I, I, I did I went in 2003 for New Year's Eve 2004 and that that was the last time I was in Havana and I have no idea when I'm going to return yet uh, but yeah Havana theme the next one is Puerto Rico uh, blues I called it and it's a very similar rhythm you know Cuba and Puerto Rico the, the saying goes are uh, uh, what the, the two wings of the bird it's a uh, Something like that. It sounds different in Spanish. But anyways, the cultures are very similar and the music is very similar as well. So, yeah, this is called Puerto Rico Blues. And the third one is a stirred up salsa. A slow salsa at that, but it's a salsa. It's Miami theme. It's, uh, and this is one of, this is the oldest tune in this CD. This, I, I probably did it in 2008, in late 2008. At the time I had a, a podcast, a video podcast called the Tropical Music with Robertico, which was my pen name at the time, and um, that was the theme that I came up with. And then eventually, with the opening of that podcast called Tropical Music, which was us driving through uh, Southwest 8th Street here in Little Havana, I did my the first video of the, this whole collection of travel videos, which is still in YouTube and it's one of my most viewed videos as well. So Miami theme, this is an Easter egg. I decided to include the a cappella version of Key West, Kai West. You know, I've used it a couple of times. I think it's, a, it's just the a cappella version. From Key West, we go all the way up to Canada and this is called Montreal Groove. And it's the music that plays as we are arriving in Montreal, uh, Canada, in that uh, in that road trip that was in 2013. It's been a while, and uh, yeah, that was a great trip, though. Okay, number 19 is called uh, New Orleans, and and this tr shows the genius of my friend Chuchi, because I pretty much hummed the song to him. I mean, he plays all the instruments here. And I just told him, I want something that goes like... You know, I told him, think of the, 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 the Muppet Show theme, kind of. And it, it does have an influence in my mind from there. And then, as this, as eventually I, I had to end it, and then there's a second part inspired by... Inspired by, by, a, by a procession that we saw on the street. Uh, you know, everybody, uh, there was like a band at the front and everybody was behind the band, you know, everybody wearing costumes on, 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 on Fat Tuesday, on Mardi Gras. And a lot of the stuff is improvised by him, so he, he, in this tune, he probably deserves as much credit as I do. Okay, number 20, New York Groove. And I included this because it's the only hip-hop 
kind of hip hop rhythm that I have in 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 my videos. And this is inspired, of course, by, inspired of course by us uh, driving through Harlem in New York. This is another one that I might expand upon in, in the future. I like it, I use it sometimes. I use segments of it. I, I don't think I have used it from the beginning in a very long time, but I use segments of it. Okay, the last two tunes, 21, I decided to include the original version of Riding with My RV, because that's like the classic. <laughs> Basically. Although in this version, of course, I don't start singing until like way, way in the middle of the song. So a lot of people who don't listen to the end uh, have thought that this is an instrumental, but it is not. It is, um, it is of course the original. And then I decided to end it with the EDM version of uh, Riding in My RV, the electronic dance music. And I, and I actually it came out better than I expected. I, I, I did this basically as a background for our video about the Ultra Music Festival here in Miami. As you know, it's, it's an electronic music festival, and um, I didn't want to play much of the of the music that they were playing there just because of copyright concerns. And I said, hmm, "What if I may make make an EDM rhythm and, and, and uh, you know, like a trance?" And then it came it came up to me, "What, what if I, I I do hints of uh, our theme song uh, here?" And, and in the beginning, you don't hear it, but towards the end. There, there are uh, hints of the writing with, in my RV melody. <coughs> Anyways, uh, that is that is uh, uh, my new production here. I, I hope you enjoy it. As I said, it's going to be ten dollars. You can buy it at the same place where uh, you can buy the the. This, the stickers and I also have brand new t-shirts uh, actually I haven't received mine yet but but pa patreon producer Eric received his and they, they he says that they, they run a little on the large uh, side but they probably shrink once you wash them so um, I have those two so just go to free in my and if that doesn't work it's uh, travelingrobert.com slash stickers I do believe that still works and that's the page and I'm gonna put a link in the video description and if YouTube lets me I'm gonna put a link up here too so that's that I have a uh, hundred of this and uh, I do I think it's a great stocking stuffer now in the in the holidays and um, you know you cannot gift an mp3 but you can give a physical CD and that's a very nice uh, gesture in the back I put, by the way I put a, the picture of Destin Minitini in Destin and in the front, of course, I, I, I did a variation of the original. And in here you have a, the names of all the songs. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, thank you so much uh, for watching tomorrow. Uh, the Weboost is going to be the video that we are going to show you. And uh, it's here. And uh, this is still a work in progress, but I'll show you that. Bye now. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.